Hi there. This is a concept video explaining my trademark phrase, the holy trinity of wind playing. The purpose of using the Air Revelation training program is so that you can emulate the good habits that you form while using the blue incentive spirometer onto your instrument. In the introduction, spirometer use, and key concepts video, we already went over how it's extremely important to exhale air with the H syllable rather than to blow air as if blowing out a birthday candle. Recall, we can only properly control air exhalation when we exhale from our core. When exhaling with the H syllable, we naturally, not artificially, feel constriction in our abdominal muscles as we exhale. When we blow, we are creating tension in our neck muscles, and tension is the enemy of all great wind playing. Further, when we blow, it tends to create tension in other parts of our body as well. The fact is, tension arises because we are not using good breath support. Without breath support, the other parts of your body want to jump in to assist you. When your subconscious senses that there is not enough breath support, you start to bite, you start to clench your throat, you start to tense your neck muscles or squeeze your fingers, and you may even start to feel tension in your upper back. Believe me, playing with excellent breath support alleviates all of this. Now, I want to introduce to you something that I refer to my students as the holy trinity of clarinet playing. This relates very easily to the saxophone and to all other wind instruments for that matter. What this phrase means is that you should conceptualize three separate people playing your instrument at the same time, and each of these three people are within you. Person number one is the most important person. He or she is responsible for air, for moving air. Person number two is responsible for moving fingers, and person number three is the tongue. Each one of these people work together to execute every aspect of wind playing. But, and this is important, each of these people need to be independent. It's important to conceptualize that each person does their job separately from the other. It's also important not to allow one person to negatively affect the job of the other. Here's what I mean, and I think that we can all relate to this example. When sight reading, we're usually not completely confident with the fingerings. So what tends to happen? We back off our air. Our tone becomes weak, it doesn't sustain, it doesn't provide direction in the music. You're not playing with breath support. This is an example of person number two negatively affecting the job of person number one. Think about it. Why is person number one being affected like this? It's the most important person, and so it should act like it. Person number one should be moving great air and then telling person number two, hey, I'm not gonna be affected by you. I'm doing my job, you figure out your job. Air is person number one because it is the most important. Using good breath support not only makes finger technique, person number two's job, and tonguing, person number three's job, sound better. As noted earlier, using good breath support makes technique and tonguing feel easier. The fact is, the reason why tension creeps into your playing is because of a lack of breath support. The lack of breath support makes your jaw want to bite or your throat want to clench or your fingers want to squeeze in order to take control of the situation. No. Remember, the only control that needs to happen is with your air. Now, a final word about tongue position as it relates to using the spirometer and then transferring those habits onto your instrument. When we exhale directly into the spirometer mouthpiece, our tongue is low. This is a natural occurrence, as we're thinking of exhaling with the HA syllable. Let this not translate onto your instrument, however. When exhaling into your clarinet or saxophone mouthpiece, for example, be sure to use the arch tongue position that is appropriate to create the kind of tone that you desire. In the case of the clarinet, our HA sound will turn into a HE as our tongue arches. I like to tell my students to continue to focus on the ha sound and then have your tongue act as an independent person, turning that ha into a he. For those of you who have trouble with keeping a consistent tongue arch, be sure to check out the video on tongue position issues in the air revelation troubleshooting section for exercises to help with that. 